The South Fork of the Boise River is a premier wild rainbow trout fishery in southwest Idaho. Dominated by basalt cliffs and warm Idaho desert summers, the South Fork grows big fish. For anglers living in and around Boise, this highly valued fishery is less than a 90 minute drive from downtown. The Bureau of Reclamation operates Anderson Ranch Dam for irrigation and flood control along with other reservoirs downstream. This creates some favorable conditions for rainbow trout, such as the wintertime flow of 300 cubic feet per second. At the same time, the dam prevents fish from migrating to headwater streams to spawn and traps gravel that could replenish spawning areas downstream. These competing conditions show up in monitoring by Idaho Fish and Game. Surveys show the wild rainbow trout population in the South Fork is declining. This trend has caught the attention of government agencies and anglers. Will the trout uh, all die in polluted streams? It's something that you and I and the people of America have a responsibility to speak to. The survey in 2006 revealed a conflicting picture of the fishery. Low numbers of medium-sized fish from 10 to 16 inches are too few to be tomorrow's big fish. But the most recent electrofishing survey shows some of the largest rainbow trout ever recorded in this stretch of the river. It appears the South Fork Boise attracts larger rainbow trout from outside the immediate area. So what can we do to protect and improve the fishery? To answer this question, we need to gain a better understanding of trout populations, spawning activity, and habitat conditions. Projects launched in 2008 will help answer those questions. On July 12, 2008, agencies and volunteer anglers collected fish tissue samples for a genetic study. Volunteers contributed their angling skills or drift boat use in the name of science. A benign paper hole punch sample taken from fishtails will profile the local rainbow trout population and compare it to an existing library of genetic profiles for wild trout populations throughout the headwaters of the North, Middle, and South Fork of the Boise River. A number of small tributaries drain directly into the South Fork Boise River, but their contribution to spawning and rearing habitat is poorly understood. Potential tributary enhancement projects could be effective, but the first step is learning if the fish are using the tributaries and what water conditions and habitat are available in those tributaries. We know rainbow trout spawn in some areas of the mainstream South Fork Boise. A red survey completed in 2008 will consider the impact of spawning areas that lack the smaller size spawning gravels commonly found in a natural flowing river. Successful collaboration among the groups on projects like the new Danskin boat ramp sets the stage for future work. Boise Valley Fly Fishermen has had a tradition, and in part uh, due to Ken McGee, of working up uh, on, on conservation projects that are worthy. And uh, we just can't think of one that's better than the South Fork of the Boise. It had very high traffic. In order to handle that kind of traffic, we need good facilities. And we now have just made a, a big improvement in that regard. As information from ongoing surveys becomes available, agencies and angler groups will collaborate and identify possible solutions to improve the valuable South Fork fishery. Boom, woo. Pilot error on that one. There we go. Anyone wishing to get more information about these projects or to be a volunteer may contact Mike Tolson at 208 899-8612 or check in at the website southforkboise.org.